my stepfather, he was, he's really big in like 70s and like 60s, 70s, 80s music. So like groups like Sly and the Family Stone, mm -hmm. Earth, Wind and Fire, you know, listening to that on the way to school, it's, it gives me a different outlook on like music. Um, I had my childhood best friend he actually lived like two blocks down from me. He introduced me to classic rock music and heavy metal. Nice. So, yeah, it's like, so, so many different influences. And um, I also grew up going to like performing arts schools. So I went to performing arts schools, middle school and high school. And then I was in band in fifth grade. So I knew like at an early age, because especially whenever I would go to church, I would hear like the organ and the drums oh. and I would come home and I would be like, oh my gosh, I want to play this. I want to play this. So I remember my mom buying me like, we went through probably like five drum sets. Wow. Five <laughs> drum sets. Like it's crazy. Yes. Yeah. But I'm literally like teaching myself how to like play stuff and like how like to read music and stuff like that. Um, so then middle school, you know, then you learn how to actually read music and understand notes and keys and stuff like that. High school, the same thing. Um, and yeah, like music influences, I, I I pretty much pick it up every day. Like I never want to be a one trick pony and say, oh, I only listen to this type of music. Cause like there's right. so many, so many genres out here that you would never think that you would like. Like I would never have thought I like country music, but some days right. I wake up, I'm like <laughs> blasting Garth Brooks in here. Like they are some of the great writers, like seriously, like country what? music, the, the writing, the lyrical ability, like if you right. listen and you, you know, you, you in touch in tune with yourself, you're like, yeah, that's a real yes. story. I can feel that. You know what I mean? Yes. It's dope. Yes. I like it. That's dope. So, like, I mean, I always tell people all the time because, I mean, I do a lot of different events. So, a lot of people are like, oh, you're going to just play this type of music. Like, no. Like, I love all music. Like, I'm an open format DJ. So, meaning you play pretty much everything. I mean, there's thousands of genres of music. Don't get me wrong. But, like, right. the main ones that everybody knows, pop, top 40, what uh classic rock edm uh, yeah yep. hip-hop trap arm goes on so yeah like reggaeton, I mean, <laughs> reggaeton right afro beats and afro beats have like pretty much grew within the past like three years like i yeah. mean if you don't fuck with afro beats then like you're weird to me <laughs> like, <laughs> right right like what, where are you from like seriously like, right, right. <laughs> nah, that's right. Dope. man speaking of communities all right you said something that was like really dope and Man, it, it brings me back to my childhood. So I grew up loving all types of music, getting made fun of like, oh, you listen to that, you like that. That's corny, like black people don't like that. So what was your experience like growing up, listening to classic rock? I mean, were you introducing some of this music to your friends, telling them like, yo, li yo check this out, I, I like this. And how was their response to it? You know, I grew up very, as you could probably sound because I don't have the, the strict, the strictly like Baltimore accent. I am born and raised in Baltimore. Oh, so, but I, I sound very proper, right? So, I mean, in my communities as a kid, you know, it was an older community, but there, it was mixed. It was very mixed, um, you know, black kids, white kids, whatever. Um, if you're enjoying the content you're watching right now and you want to level up and create vibes at all the events you DJ at, well, make sure you subscribe to us right now.